I had an amazing week of sales this week. So if you want to know what sold this week, stay tuned and find out. Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie with Three Queens Resale and if you're new to my channel, thank you, thank you so much for clicking on me and if you're returning, thank you for coming back as I continue to work on this YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, I am a part-time seller. My full-time job is that of a middle school language arts teacher. So I teach 8th grade during the day and I am doing that hybrid Thing, online virtual zoom all day all day so um, I'm also a mom of two and I am married so I'm super busy but I do like to carve out time for my hobby slash hustle which is being a reseller so in this video today I am going to share with you what sold and I do sell on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, and Kitizen and I did not have any sales on Kitizen this week, but I am going to get into what sold this week. So first of all, starting off with Sunday, September 20th, um, was this Renard dress extra large. It sold on Poshmark for $15, and after $3 in fees, I was left with $12, and that had been listed since June, the last week of June. Um, next was this Nike quarter zip sweatshirt. Um, it had been listed since January of 2019, so I am so happy to get rid of it. It, I, it is something that I relisted. Um, Becky Park had talked about how she was going through and relisting some of her older items, so I decided to start doing that process. Um, I have not been as diligent as she has, but it is a good process because this sold. It sold for $12, and I did send out an offer to Likers. Um, so after the $2.95 shipping or um, Poshmark fee and the $2.12 shipping discount, I made $6.93, which, great. I was about to redonate it. Next up was this Poshmark robe, and it had been listed since July. No, Victoria's Secrets robe. It sold on Poshmark. Um, it sold for $21, and after the $4.20 in fees and the $2.12 shipping discount, I was left with $14.68. And then on eBay on Sunday, I sold these Puma baby toddler shoes. They sold for $15. And after the dollar and ninety-five cent in fees, I was left with thirteen dollars and five cents. That brings my Sunday total to forty-six sixty-six, which is a little shy of my fifty-dollar daily goal. Next up, Monday, September twenty-first, on Poshmark, I sold the Soul Society Sabine Oxfords. They were a size seven B. They had lots of traffic on it, um, and they finally went, but they went for $15 um, after the $3 in Poshmark fees and the $2.12 shipping discount. I was left with $9.88, and those have been listed probably since about March. Next, also on Poshmark, was this, was this Oshkosh hooded jacket. It's been listed for about a month. I listed it in August. It sold for $15, and after the $3 fee, I was left with $12. Next up was this Cato white button-down um, long-sleeve uh, blouse, size 18 20. It was listed for about a day. It sold for $11 on eBay, and after $1.43 in fees, I was left with $9.57. Um, next was this Anthropology Moth um, dress size small. I still pick up Anthropology. I don't see it a lot, but um, I still pick it up because I know there's a market for it. I know it's not the big money that um, people used to get for it. At least some of the pieces, most of the pieces aren't. Um, but it is like something that draws people to closets. So I have had this listed since March. 
and it sold for $15 and after the dollar and 95 cents in fees I was left with 1305 and that sold on eBay also on eBay were these um, Adidas girls casual track pants these were my daughter's track pants um, and they sold for six dollars and forty cents and after the 83 cents in fees I was left with five dollars and fifty seven cents and those had been listed since July um, also on Monday was this Lily Pulitzer long sleeve um, tee that was blue and pink and it was made of Pima cotton really super soft it was uh, my older daughter's and it sold for 25 and after the three dollar and 25 cent fee it um, I made 2175 and it sold in less than a day and then also on Monday was this Ra polo Ralph Lauren full zip hooded jacket um, it had been listed since March and it sold for twelve dollars and after the two dollar and ninety five cent fee I was left with nine oh five and then finally on Friday or on Monday I sold this out from under cropped v-neck it had been listed for a day on eBay and it sold for eighteen dollars and after the two dollar and thirty four cent in fees I was left with fifteen dollars and sixty six cents which brings my Monday total to $96.53, which is well over my $50, $50 um, a day goal. Yay, Monday! I typically do good on Mondays because a lot of times I send out a lot of offers on Sunday. So that might be a strategy that you try is to send out offers on Sunday. Sometimes when people are bored at home on Sunday, they might accept. I tend to have good luck with it. Um, we did not, oh, that was Monday, Tuesday, the 22nd, I had two sales, the first, both on eBay, no Poshmark love on Tuesday, I'd worn them out on Monday, was this John Galt Paxson collared lavender polo, it was my daughter's, it was listed for like two days, I was actually surprised it even sold, um, it sold for $12, and after a dollar and 56 cents in fees, I was left with $10.44. Then this Madewell Movie House dress, size medium, also sold on eBay for $20. And it sold, uh, its fee was $2.60. And after the fee, I was left with $17.40. Bringing my Tuesday total to $27.84. Which Monday was... I did so well that I was still a little ahead of the game as far as my goal for the week. Wednesday, September 23rd, I sold uh, two items as well. Uh, the first was the Stadium Athletics Quarter Zip University of Illinois Pullover. And that was given to me by my friend Wendy. And it sold for $15. And after the $1.50 in fees, I was left with $13.50. And that had been listed in since July. And I expected stuff like that to start selling in the fall, especially since the Big Ten and all of the major um, college football leagues are now going to play. Cole Haan, next, I sold these Cole Haan Velvet Loafer Size 7. They sold on Poshmark. I accepted an offer for $20. And after the $4 in fees, I was left with $16. And I had a feeling that was another item that I had listed back in March um, that those would go in the spring or in the fall time because they are a nice chocolate velvet and perfect for fall. Next up was Thursday, September 24th. Uh, I had two sales also. The first one was on Poshmark, and it was this Michael Kors Kelsey uh, Purse Red, and it was new without the tag. It actually had the tag inside and the little card that, you know, when you buy a nice purse like that, that is inside. And it had never been used, and it was donated to me by one of my daughter's friends who got it, and it just wasn't her style. So, um... It sold for $55, and after the $11 in fees, I made $44. Um, and then next on eBay was this Lily Pulitzer Tobin off-the-shoulder top. Um, it sold for 
$30 and after the $3.90 in fees I was left with $26.18 which brought my Thursday total to $70.10 which kind of made up for my slow Wednesday. Then on Friday September 25th I had this um, Bowden Tankini Top Size 6. I listed this before I went to bed and it was I had an offer in the morning when I woke up for $14 and I accepted it and after the $2.95 fee I made $11.05. Then I had the next this Pendleton um, Size 4 Blue Pencil Skirt. It had been listed for over a year and it sold for $14 and after the $2.95 fee, I made $11.05. Um, and then finally on, I'm going to have to redo my number because someone canceled an order. I let someone cancel. Next was this A New by Naturals XL Boho Gypsy Skirt. It also sold on Poshmark for $19. And after the $3.80 fee, I was left with 1520 and I had had that since July of the following year so well over a year let me subtract out the the cell that I didn't have uh, so that brings my total for Friday to thirty six dollars and thirty cents and then moving on to Saturday. Um, on Saturday, September 26, I had four sales and they, no, three of them were on Poshmark and one on eBay. So um, the first one was this design history three quarter sleeve orange um, extra large sweater. Um, it had been listed since March 11th. I actually had it since like October of last year. I don't know why I never listed it. Um, it was in a death pile somewhere, but it sold for $8, or I took an offer for $8, and sent, then after the $2.95 fee, I was left with $5.05. And .05. um, next was this Lily Pulitzer Aerial Iris Blue Extra Large, and this sold in like a minute. I am not kidding. Um, I listed it, and I was getting ready to cross-list it to... Um, eBay and it sold and so I had to delete it um, when I had started from eBay it sold for $28 my full asking price and after the $5.60 in fees I was left with $22.40 whenever things sell that quickly I'm like did I underprice it like what's wrong but you know what I never wore that top it was my personal top so I hope she enjoys it it was Pima Cotton. I don't know why I didn't like it, but I don't know. I just didn't ever wear it. Next, um, I had picked up a bunch of these Victoria's Secret Ipex bras when I was at the bins the last time. And this is my last one to sell. It was a size 36A. It sold for $15 on eBay. And after the $1.95 in fees, I was left with $13.05. And then finally... My last sell for the week was this Escada sweater set. Um, I had it listed for 60 and um, she offered me 30 sent an offer for 30 and then I responded with 45 um, and she accepted. So after the $9 in fees, I was left with $36 and that had been listed since April. So that brought my grand total for Saturday to seventy six fifty, so I need to redo my goal. So my total for the week was three hundred dollars. And mm, eight, hold on, I gotta do some math because I gotta take that. And eighty three hundred and eighty three dollars and three cents, and I sold twenty eight items. So I have to redo my average cost of goods as well. Since I forgot that one I canceled. So that brings my average cost of goods to thirteen sixty seven. My goal is um right now I'm trying to work up to a fifteen dollar average cost of goods. Um 
So I'm just going to keep plugging away at it and um, trying to list, find those things that I can resell in the 20 to 25 $30 range and um, that can flip for that much. Currently, right now, my sourcing strategy is only dollar days on Sunday. I'm pretty busy um, during the week teaching, and so getting out to source is just really not an option um, because I'm working during the day now, and then I have my two kids that I have to, in my house, and my husband, and my dog that I have to see through to during the week. So I don't really get to source that much during the week anymore. But I do try to take time to source on um, Sundays because everything's a dollar um, for the color of the week. So that's really kind of like been a big shift in my sourcing strategy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would appreciate it if you did. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. What's your sourcing strategy and how's your week going? Let me know in the comments down below. I would appreciate any feedback. And until next time, bye.